Good day, Family Feuders! I'm on silent, and we're on the air with more Pokemon Ruby version. It's episode number 11 of Pokemon Ruby. Thanks for tuning in. Last time out, last time out. We started making our way northwards in Hoenn region. As you can see on the hastily pulled up Pokenav. So we're starting heading towards the north here. Having head north from Malville City, I think we're going to take a left head west young man to Lava Ridge. I believe that's going to be our next stop and then after that I think we might make a stop at Fall Arbor Town. Never know maybe we go uh, off to Fortree. I'm sure the game will tell us where to go next but that would also be our yeah our next badge will be our fourth badge which is important to note because that's when we can challenge Pops at um where the hell's Pops, Jim? It's the second or... No, third town. Because we started here in Little Root, then we went to Oakville or Old Dale, whatever. And then Petalburg, that would be where Pops' gym is. Oakville's in Ontario. Now, this. Right. And I had started recording this episode, then I saw this, and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Can't go very far with this. So, what Pokemon do I have? That can do the uh, rock smash. We got, we just got that. Um, we just got that uh, HM. The answer is not as many as you'd hope. So I found. So what have I got? So I can, I could teach it to Makahita, but I'm like, eh, I don't really want to lose anything on Makahita, and I don't want to lose anything on Marsh Stomp. Gulpin's in a good spot. So Meryl. Poor Meryl is going to get uh, to smash rocks. Meryl wants to learn the move Rock Smash. However, Meryl already knows four moves. Should a move be deleted and replaced with Rock Smash? Yes. Now, Meryl's got two basically useless attacks. Def or, I guess, moves? Would that be a battle moves? He says at the top left. There you go. Uh, defense Curl and Tail Whip. And... Defense Curl seems like the more useful of the two. You guys know I've, I've stated my opinion on moves similar to Tail Whip. There's a time and a place for him, but it is exceedingly rare, and I do not like Tail Whip. Therefore, Tail Whip is gone. Sorry, Tail Whip fans. Tail Whip is being replaced by... Poof! Rock Smash. It said it was a fighting move, too. I wonder why Makahita could learn it. Smash! <laughs> it's such a cheery looking thing and it's like shows up and it's like die go Meryl <laughs> alright do you want me to smash this rock for you no hi turn around hi hello look at me I think I've pinned him in by staring at him, I've broken the AI. <laughs> I have broken the AI. Now where are you gonna go? <laughs> I've broken him. Oh, he's not fighting me or nothing. If you don't race your Pokemon some more, it could be tough to keep winning up through the ranks. I've heard the Pokemon League's Elite Four are far stronger than any gym leader. It would surprise me. Now, I assume this is a tag team battle here. So. We gotta ha be ready. Makahita and Marsh Stomp will have as our gunners here. Oh, no, they're interview people. Gabby here. Oh, we've just spotted a tough-looking trainer here, of all places. Okay, roll camera. Let's get this interview. Oh, it's a battle. Thank God. I thought it was going to be another one of those goddamn interview segments. I was like, ah, oh, hard pass, hard pass. It's interviewer Gabby and her cameraman Ty who would like to battle. And they sent her to Magnemite and a Wismer. Fortunately, I have a pretty good pair to deal with it. Makahita should arm thrust the crap out of Wismer. And Marsh Dump should mud shot the Magnemite. It's super effective, by the way. You can tell by the sound. So Magnemite's down. 
and 180 XP to Makahita, who levels up. Oh, we're trying to learn Whirlwind? Whirlwind? I thought that was a flying move. No, apparently it isn't. Oh, it blows away the foe with wind and ends the battle. Okay, I thought it was a flying move. Uh, but no, this one I don't like because it doesn't work. It only works in battles with wild Pokemon, if memory serve. And it's, it's a, such a limited use that it's like, why can't I just use the run at that point, right? Nah, pass. Stop learning Whirlwind, yes. Sorry, Makahita. Ah, now, now our boy's in here with the arm thrust. Two, ah, 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 three, ah, ah, ah. That just, that was very convenient that that worked that way. I was thinking I should have gone with uh, Marsh Stomp before they deployed, but it works itself out. Then we've taken down the interviews. I've had enough of your tabloid journalism. My eyes didn't lie, I did discover an astonishing trainer. And I got paid for my footage. Awesome, awesome, who are you? I knew you were on something wild when we spotted you. Oh, please let me explain. We travel around everywhere interviewing all sorts of trainers. So would you give us a bit of a time for an interview? No. I don't want to give another dumbass four-word statement. Trainer tips, one of the indicators of Pokemon's powerfulness is special attack. It stands for special attack. Like my special defense stands for special defense. I really should stop saying that in full. I don't know where you're going, but would you like to battle? You look like the sort of person I should have a fire Pokemon to deal with. Picnicker Irene. Sent out a Shroomish. I was right. See? Big out. So get your first move in for free. Get that arm thrust going. There's one. There's two. There's three. Oh, we're going four. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, only four. And we got leech seated. No, oh, that's a good leech seed. Um, how much will the tackle do? Ah, oh, not quite enough. Think one tackle should finish it off here. Ah, god damn it! Tackle here will finish it off, right? Jesus! What a goddamn farce. Arm thrust, finish it. Oh, we got a crit there, yay. Holy balls, that was embarrassing. All right, about to use a Meryl. Yes, we'll switch out. Shroomish! We're calling the closer. Straight into the absorb. Which is super effective, but at the same time, not as super effective as one would hope. Oh, defense curl. Well, let's stun Spore. And that got, uh, and that paralyzed the Meryl. Oh, it's still gonna tail whip us. I don't know what it, well, I mean, I know from our Meryl what attacks it might have. It might have, like, a tackle move, and it might have a, um, water gun move, so. And it's super effective, went straight through that defense up. Because I believe this is probably a special attack move as opposed to a regular attack move. Just a regular old absorb. Ooh, not quite enough, though. Another tail lip. 
I'm waiting for it to try something here. My defense keeps going down. But all it's got to use at this point is... I just tackle, really, but it's too late at this point. Down goes the Meryl. There you go. Oh, you're disgustingly good. Come on, Irene. I'm thinking I should go to Mount Chimney. But the view around here is very nice, too. How are my Pokemon doing? And uh, how am I doing for relative... Where am I relative to everything else? Oh, if I take the next left, I'm at the desert? Okay. I'm full of pep and my Pokemon is peppy too. Sure, why not? I was going to say, should I go back and Pokemon center up uh, a, sa a Sedru? Oh my goodness, we are kicking it old school. Um, fake it out. Sandshrew is a ground Pokemon. Unfortunately, it does not get a huge amount of damage from our fighting type attacks. Oh, pocket sand. Um, ground type. Change him up. Oh, it's defense curling. It's defense... It's defense rose, but... How does it do against the water gun? Not so hot. And that's Camper Travis down and out. My Pokemon lost its pep. Sorry, kiddo. And then I see a trainer with a lot of pep. I can't help looking. Now, let's see what the sign says. So, Route 112 is to the left. The sandstorm is vicious. It's impossible to keep going. So apparently, there's a very localized sandstorm there. Alright, since we can't go through the sandstorm, I guess we are going to the left. Along Route 112... And we could take the battle here, or we could just instantly get ourselves into a battle in the tall grass. That's a Numel! Well, I know these things. I know these things do fire. So this would be a nice thing to add to the rotation. So that's important to me. It's, just, it's starting to add in. Ember, see? There you go. Fire type. Oh, burn! That's new. One more? One more? Burn hurts more than the... I said the burn hurts more than the goddamn uh, actual ember attack. Let's in the red. Let's toss out a Pokeball. Two, three. And that's our first fire Pokemon in the books in the pocket and out of sight. Let's see about Numel the Numb Pokemon. It is extremely dull witted. It doesn't notice being hit. However, it can't stand hunger for even a second. This Pokemon's body is a seething cauldron of boiling magma. Okay. I'm sent to someone's PC. Very good. Alright. So we may want to... Swap it out. Let's swap it out with the Meryl. Because water-type Pokemon. Oh, it's a Machop! Not the type of Pokemon you want going up against, uh... Oh, that didn't go so hot. Hmm. 
Gulpin would be a good bet against this. Gulpin not so good against the... I think fire type is good against poison type. Oh! A crit! You got the crit, but it, so that was half damage on the crit. So we'll get the... Oh, he's focusing energy. And he's getting pumped, apparently. Let's yawn at him. So we'll make him drowsy. And he's gonna leer like an idiot. Guess what that means? We're gonna sludge him again. And whatever he does next, we'll put him to sleep. He's gonna leer at us again, and now he's gonna go to sleep. Like a goober. I think I could get away with one more sludge. Don't crit him. Just, just perfect. He's asleep, he's in the red, he's going to be in the bag. One, two, three, he ain't kicking out. Some of us have those old Pokemon trainer instincts. You might not use them for 20 years, but they're still tucked away up there. Oh, sorry, I, I skipped through the thing because I already know this Pokemon. It's a fighting Pokemon. Should see it when it gets all its uh, arms all akimbo there. Oh, oops. When you're out on a picnic, oh, you simply have to sing. Come on, sing with me. You want to sing some stones, Ruby Tuesday? Picnicker Carol would like to battle and send her tail low. Now, here's the problem. Oh, actually, okay. What the hell works against fight, uh, flying? Electric. Water gun it. Oh, attack's down. That's just, just regular attack. Not gonna do a lot there. How, how, how about that? Oh, withdrew the tail, though. And is gone with the Lombre instead. So he rock smashed and his defense fell. Now, unfortunately... I send up Marsh Stomp. I mean, I, I no, because it's a grass type. Um, shit, what do I send out against it? Makahit is my best Pokemon left, and it's it's dust. It's in trouble here. The best thing I can do is just like for like it. You can stun spore it. Also, it's a female Lombre and it has a mustache. It's going to drop my attack, which is bad. That was the wrong button. Oh, well, it has energy drained. It's paralyzed and it can't move. Use nature power, turns into swift. Swift apparently is a normal attack. Whatever its secondary type is, it's interacting with its prime. It's interacting with the grass type. So that way, I have just a normally effective attack with uh, absorbing the Mega Drain. Which is interesting. I wouldn't expect it to. I and mean, it's critting the treat. What is. Like, is there a crit chance stat that Pokemon have? Or trainers have? Attack down, but again, we're not using much in the way of attack. One more Mega Drain, that should be enough to finish it. I'm not even taking a chance. And hitting. Oh, you're kidding! Just finish it. And there goes the Lombre. 271 for the Meryl and 271 for the Shroomish. And the Talos coming back out. Yeah, just played safe. We'll get Marsh Stomp to finish it off. Water gun it. 
Water get it. There we go. Birds don't like getting wet. And that will finish off Picnic or Carol. Doesn't matter if you're good or bad at singing or Pokemon. If you have the most fun, you win. Alright, I think I'm gonna go... And yeah, we should really get... Uh, Makita healed up. Yeah. So let's go back that way. First, we'll see what this is. Oh, it's another Numel. Now, nah, well, we'll see you in a minute. All right, well, let's let's trigger this fight. I forgot to change over from, uh... I'm strong, I won't cry if I lose. I forgot to change over from Meryl shit. Well, we'll see what we got ourselves into first. With Camper Larry. Plus, Lawrence got a Trash Panda. Rock Smash is a fighting-type move. Odor Sleuth? Identified Meryl. It's super effective. Did absolutely no damage. Makahita, would you would you kindly? Used headbutt. Not a bad headbutt. An odor sleuth again. Identified Makahita. That's one. That's two. Works much better when you've got a fighting type Pokemon using a fighting move, I guess. Alright, it's about to use a Nuzleaf. And so that's the thing that's both water and grass? No, this is the thing that's ground and grass or something. I don't see Swift. Well, it's ground, so... And against the fighting Pokemon. Or maybe it's rock. It doesn't matter. That still worked very well. It was super effective. One could even say. Makita levels up to 23. I think he might be crying a bit. I'm not crying because... I'm not crying because I can miss my mommy snivel. Alright. Um, let's change it. Oops. Now, um... Switch. Alright, there you go. Switch to Shroomish. Mount Chimney. For Lava Ridge Town or the Summit, please take the cable car. My legs are solid from pounding up and down the mountains. You're not going to buckle easy, friend. Alright, well, I guess we couldn't even get to the damn summit without running into Hiker Trent. Sent out a Geodude. Okay, well, that's a good that's a good uh, first one against uh, Shroomish because Geodude... We'll be weak to my grass attacks. That's one. Who's next? Geodude again! No. Keep Shroomish out there. We could put Shroomish out there. We could go with Makahita. We could go with uh, Marsh Stomp. We could go with frickin' Meryl if we wanted to. We've got options here. So, this is, uh, this plays it. I've got a really good hand against the rock Pokemon here. And I don't mean Dwayne. Shroomish levels up to 22. Trying to learn Headbutt. But we can't learn more than four moves. Do we, let's take a look at what we got. That's a normal type move. So we can replace Tackle with Headbutt. Ta it's got about half the, it's got more accuracy, but it does twice the damage as a Tackle. And I think I'm going to take the headbutt over the tackle. I'm thinking I'll take the headbutt over the tackle, just because double the damage. You see the power at the bottom left, and you see the accuracy is up as well. So I'm going to take I'm going to take the chance on the headbutt. Doesn't ask you if you're sure you want to get rid of tackle or uh, 
It just says, boom, go. About to use another Geodude. Let's change it up here. And send out Makahita. Makahita will use the um, arm thrust and... Level 16 Geodude. I'm, I'm thinking of risking. Send out the Meryl on this one, but... On the next one. We'll see what the next one is. Oh, crit! And that one goes down. Alright, who's next? Another Geodude. Yeah, let's try it with the Meryl. No idea if it's gonna work until we try it, right? I mean, it's got a move that's literally called Rock Smash, right? Hit the water gun. Nice! Oh, it's using a defense curl. And let's Rock Smash it out of the way. It's literally called Rock Smash. It just fits. Oh, almost got that level up for Meryl. Ouch, my legs cramped up. I thought you said you'd been pumping those legs. Try hiking. I mean, really pounding on those mountain trails with heavy pack weighing dozens of pounds. That, my friend, will get your body into serious shape. So, Mount Chimney Cable Car is a short walk that way. Oh, and there's also a, uh, a cave off that direction. Just gonna make this quick switch here. Get Meryl there. So, if we get one more battle, we should be able to level them up. Now, well, I'll see you guys back here in a minute. Alright, so, welcome back already. So, as the Numo went down, we leveled up and we got roll out a rock type attack. Which I believe we will use to replace Defense Curl. Because I can't get rid of Rock Smash. And I don't want to get rid of Water Gun, so we're going to get rid of Roll Out. Or I guess we're Roll Out over, um... Attack lasting five turns with Rising Intensity. Interesting. Silly, but interesting. We get rid of Defense Curl. One, two, and poof. Forgot Defense Curl and learned Roll Out. All right, so we'll have to go by that guy. Oh, there's some magma dudes. All right, let's, uh, might be a tag team of magma dudes. So there's two standing there. Let's get ready for a double team of battle. Grumble. What happened to the others who went to Fall Arbor? They're late. Grumble. I'd like to ride the cable car to the top, too. Out of the way, you dickheads! Hey, what's happening here? Ha ha, how about we have a battle? You and me! Ha ha ha! No! I want to know what the hell's going on with our magma fellas. Hiker Bryce would like to battle, and he sent out a Numel. <sighs> Fine, if I have to. I don't really want to. There's one. There's two. And three. Can we get a four? No. We're gonna get embered. Probably burned. Oh no. Alright, tackle him down. There goes a Numel. Nice bit of XP though. A much hop is next. Ow. I guess this is as good as mine. This is that level 18. Should be in okay shape. Got the poison, landed the poison. Low kick, not very effective because we are dealing with a poison Pokemon here. Let's see if we can't put it to sleep. Oh no! That didn't work. Not very effective. It's effective enough. 
Let's sludge it again. Oh, it leered this time. It's gonna get some poison damage for its trouble. Finish it. Good job, Gulpin. And we level up too. I lost. Ha 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 ha! Yes, you did, Bruce. All right. Well, I guess we're going through the tunnel here, aren't we? The fiery path. It's a fiery path, it says. What's this? It's a big boulder, but Pokemon may be able to push it aside. I got rock smash, but not boulder shove? Also interesting. A whole indoor cave section. Not one encounter. Well, we got some berries here, though. Rost berries? Sure. So what's a rost berry? Yes, let's see what a rost berry is. It's number four. I even heals a burn in battle. Well, that would have been handy a minute ago. Let's put it back. Anybody got some uh, pick berries? And just put the yeah, put a pe a berry there. And what we'll do is let's see what other berries we've got here. Well, we got a lot of a nab. That's a poke block ingredient. Good plant of orange berry, but that might be. That's for dropped in an ab. Gonna be anything to battle here? Yes. Ah, another numel. All right, so oh, we're back on one eleven. Where the? Can we get the? Oh no, uh, poking ab. Where am I? We seem to have bypassed Lava Ridge and Mount Chimney. And we are instead heading for Fall Arbor Town, presumably to foil whatever the hell. Show me how much you've toughened your Pokemon. Okay. Presumably to foil whatever Team Magma is up to. Cool Trainer Wilton. With a name like Wilton, really? Oh, Electrike. Uh-oh. This isn't going to go well. Need to tag in Marsh Stomp. Well, Thunder Wave doesn't affect Marsh Stomp because ground Pokemon. And finish it off nice and quick with the with that split the XP between two of them and use a Whalmer yeah let's swap it out for Shroomish get a grass type out there <laughs> love that sound oh it splashed me oh no it's a valiant effort, Whalmer. Shroomish didn't appreciate it, though. Can we headbutt it? Well, we shouldn't have used the headbutt. So my attack just fell. I can use an absorb. Maybe it'll be boosted by the uh, gentle splashing of Whalmer. Not quite finished, but we're close. Oh, used a super potion. Wilton thinks he's cool. 
Or Wilton's just delaying the inevitable and just pissing everyone off, really. This we noticed. Use a Mega Drain. It's got two moves: Splash and get a and receive Super Potion. All right, can we headbutt it down? Oh, it's a rollout. It's a rock type move. We know that. Oh, we got 520 XP for that one. A lot of XP. It's about to use a Makahita. Go oh, oh, maybe not. Gulpin, I'm gonna take a chance. You never want to take a chance. I'm gonna take a chance. Ah, I couldn't do the. Not very effective. What have I got in the bag? Yeah. There we go. It's gonna focus energy. That's fine. That's fine. Oops, nope. Fight, please. Sludge it. There's the poison. Again, another vital throw. Ooh, crits! Crits! Can we get the sludge in? Yeah, I'll finish it. Good work, Gulpin! No, oh, not quite enough to level up, but hey, pretty close. Pokemon trainers learn much through battling. What's important is to never give up, give up even if you lose. So, oh, this appears to bypass the... That yeah, sandstorm. Okay. Okay. So we're just going to be a little careful as we're... Progressing forward. And we could have a chat with this one, but... What's that? What am I doing? I'm thinking about making my own room here using a Pokemon move. I know I'll give you this TM. Will you use it to make your own room? Sure. We got TM43. Which is... Find a big tree that looks like it might drop some vines. Use secret power in front of the tree and some vines should get free and drop. So you can climb da climb the tree. You'll find a lot of space for putting up your favorite things. It'll be your own secret room, a secret base. You should make one. Another thing, you don't always have to make your secret base at a tree. Try using secret power on rock walls that have small indents in them. You gotta look for other places too. Okay, bye. Well, I guess I will have friends in Slateport now. Oh, I don't have Tentacool on me. Unfortunately. Oh, I can go around this way. So what is this place then? Old ladies rest stop. Come in and rest your tired bones. Don't mind if I do. Hello. Oh dear, dear, aren't your Pokemon exhausted? If you'd like, rest up here. That's a fine idea, you should do that. That's right, take your time and rest up. Hopefully I don't get mugged by, like, Team Magma along the way. Oh dear, dear, are your Pokemon still tired? You should take another rest here, that's a fine idea, you should do that. Sure, why not? Okay, no, I'm, 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 I'm good. Is that so? You don't need to be shy about it. I think we're good. I think we're okay. Thank you, though. Dad might like this program. Better get going. Indeed. Alright, so we are probably uh, about to make that westward turn. Yep. Onto Route 113 towards Fall Arbor Town. So let's call it a day here, and we'll come back next time. 
and wrap this up, the march to Fall Arbor. And we gotta deal with whatever Team Magma's up to. And hopefully, since I'm cut off from a Pokemon Center by quite a distance. Uh, hopefully... Next nearest Pokemon Center is all the way back here at Mallville. Hopefully, we can uh, just handle this reasonably well by ourselves. With our crew. A right type bunch of interesting fellas. But until we see you to see how the crew handles it, I'm Unsilent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Share on social media. Follow on social media. The social media handle is Unsilent on air. Netis for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. And don't forget you can check out more Pokemon in the playlist. It's on the screen in the description down below. More videos anytime on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm Unsilent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe. And we will see you next time.